Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can interact with PDFs and a bunch of other different kinds of files using AI. Now two of the three methods I show you today are going to be free and the third one requires you to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription which costs $20 a month. Now if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter where I'm soon going to start sending out AI workflows similar to this which I create for myself to complete different kinds of tasks. All right, let's get started. Now, the first tool I want to talk about is called Chat with Any PDF, which is accessible on chatpdf.com. Here, when you create an account on their free version, they allow you to upload up to three PDFs a day, where each PDF can have up to 120 pages. And you can interact with these PDFs and ask up to 50 questions a day. You can, of course, subscribe to a paid version of this where you can upload up to 50 PDFs a day. But I personally don't need that. Now here, you can either drag a PDF directly into this or provide a URL which has a PDF. I have this document which I downloaded from Udacity because I was looking into this course called AI for Trading. And I was wondering if this is something I would like to pursue. So here, what I can do is I can just drag this PDF right on this web browser right here and let it upload and now you see it has already recognized all the data inside the PDF and it says welcome to the nano degree program syllabus for AI for trading. This program offers learners the opportunity to gain mastery of valuable data and AI skills in quantitative finance. So basically what happened here is instead of going through the book and reading it word for word, I can just talk to the PDF like I would talk to a chatbot. So as soon as I upload that PDF, this whole data inside the PDF is accessible to me like a data set which the AI already knows about. And it has also recommended me three different questions that I can ask the PDF directly. The first one is, what specific skills will I learn in this program? And this was something I was curious about because I have some experience in tech and AI, but not a lot in trading. So I was wondering if I need to be good in trading basics. Then it says, how will the projects that I build contribute to my professional portfolio? And is there any additional software or hardware I need to complete this program? So I can just go ahead and ask this first question right here. And it says, you will learn how to analyze real data and build financial models for trading using Python. You will also gain familiarity with statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. Now I can ask, do I need to know much about trading? It says, while prior knowledge of trading is not required, it would be helpful to have a basic understanding of financial markets and trading concepts. However, the program is designed to teach you everything you need to know about quantitative finance and AI applications in trading. Now, usually when people think of trading, they think of stock trading. How about I ask it, will this be applicable to crypto or forex trading? The skills you learn in this program, such as data analysis, financial modeling, and AI applications can be applied to various trading markets, including crypto and Forex. However, the program does not focus specifically on these markets. So as you see, instead of having to read this entire PDF, I can ask chatpdf.com directly what I was curious about and get my answers without having to waste a lot of time reading long PDF documents, which might not be relevant to me yet. The next tool I want to talk about is actually a Chrome extension called ChatGPT File Uploader Extended. Now this requires you to have at least a free account with ChatGPT, so make sure to create that before you start using it. And after you're done installing this Chrome extension, you're going to see this green button appear in the bottom called Upload File. And it says this supports file types .txt, JS, Python, HTML, CSS, CSV, PDF, doc, docx, XLS. So basically you can upload a bunch of different kinds of file formats. And after you're done uploading it, you can then go ahead and ask questions just like you did with chat PDF. Now there are a few things worth mentioning here. 
there is the settings button right here. If you click that, it says chunk size 500. So basically, as soon as you upload a PDF or any kind of document, it's going to start uploading that document in chunks of characters. So if you keep it at 500, it's going to upload this 500 characters at a time. I'm going to change this to 1000. Next, there is this section called prompts where it's going to give you the base prompt of what's working in the background of this tool. They also have sections for single parts and multi parts. That means if your file has multiple parts, for example, sometimes files are split into different parts. And what it says here is, please wait until I finish sending the whole context of this document. So basically you're telling ChatGPT to wait till all the parts are completed before doing any kind of analysis. Now there is also this zip file setting where you can ignore specific file extensions if you're uploading a large zip file. For example, if your zip file has a PDF document but also an MP4 video file, you want to ignore that video file and make sure it only reads that PDF file. You can also ignore very specific files inside the zip file if you know for sure that you don't want that to be scanned. Now, I'm not going to try a zip file, so I'm not going to save any of these settings. But if you do add some changes here with your prompts or your zip file settings, make sure to click the save button before you proceed. Now, you don't require GPT-4 for this. So if you have a free account, you can work with GPT-3.5 and that's just good enough. I'm just going to try uploading the same AI for trading file that I just used for chat PDF. I'm going to click upload file, click AI for trading. And now as you see, it has started uploading that file in phases. There are five or 14 parts uploaded and you're going to see that this is progressing. And since I mentioned my chunk size as thousand characters, it's taking 1000 characters at a time instead of 500. And you're going to see all of these parts are uploading like that. And as you see, all the parts of the document are now complete and it has started summarizing the document right here. It says the document title AI for trading provides information about the syllabus and content of a nano degree program called AI for trading. The program is designed to help learners analyze real data and build financial models for trading using AI techniques. This program helps to equip learners with skills in quantitative finance, data analysis, AI applications, and trading strategies. In the bottom, it says, please feel free to ask any questions you may have regarding the content of the document or any specific topics. So I'm going to go ahead and ask what I asked with chat PDF. The document focuses on teaching concepts and skills related to quantitative finance, modeling, trading strategies. It told me pretty upfront that this does not cover much about Forex or crypto trading. Then I'm going to ask, how long will this take to complete? Okay, it says according to the document, the length of AI for trading nano degree program is six months, assuming a commitment of approximately 10 hours per week. However, it's important to note that the actual time taken may vary depending on individual learning pace, prior knowledge, and experience. And learners who spend about 5 to 10 hours per week should be able to complete it within the provided time frame. The last thing I'm going to ask is what kind of tools will I need to complete this? The document specifies that the learners need access to a computer running either OS X or Windows. Additionally, it says there are some prerequisites, Python 3.7, and it also mentioned that a well-prepared learner should have familiarity with the following statistics, linear algebra, and calculus. The last tool I'm going to talk about is actually a ChatGPT plugin. Firstly, you do need a paid subscription. So make sure you have ChatGPT Plus available before you try this one out. And also make sure to have your plugins enabled from the settings. If you go to beta features, make sure this toggle right here next to plugins is set to true. After that, search through the different plugins and find this one called Ask Your PDF. There is also a different one called Chat with PDF, but it's showing quite a number of errors. So I personally prefer Ask Your PDF. So make sure to have your Ask Your PDF plugin enabled using this button right here. It's also important to note that at this time, you can only enable up to three plugins. So make sure you're meeting that limit. Now to use this plugin, what I'm gonna do is actually use a URL instead of a file. So I was looking through the different AI courses available on udacity.com and I also came across this one which I was curious about called AI Programming with Python. So when I click learn more, 
There is an option to download the syllabus, but instead of downloading it as a PDF, I can view this as a PDF file on a browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL right here and use the prompt using ask your PDF, summarize the following. And I'm gonna paste that URL which I just copied and press enter. As you see, it has started using the plugin and it says the document you provided is the syllabus for AI programming with Python nanodegree program offered by the School of AI. Here is a summary. The program aims to teach learners how to use programming tools like Python, NumPy, and PyTorch. It covers understanding applications of calculus and linear algebra and performing key techniques of neural networks. So as a part of using this plugin, this document does get uploaded and here it says please note that you can actually delete your document at any time by visiting this link so I'm gonna go ahead and go to that link and there is this big delete button where I can go ahead and delete this document which this plugin just used but before doing that why not ask a few questions do I need to have a programming background Okay, it says, according to the document, learners should have a basic understanding in calculus, algebra, and programming. While it doesn't explicitly state that a programming background is required, having basic programming knowledge will shorten the time to mastery. This suggests that some familiarity with programming concepts would be beneficial for this course. The next question would be, how long will this take me to complete? It says this nano degree program is estimated to take about three months to complete if you dedicate around 10 hours per week. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, the last question I'm going to ask is what kind of jobs will I be able to perform after learning the skills? in this course. Okay, it says the document does not explicitly mention the specific job roles you can perform, but here it says as a graduate, you will be able to utilize programming tools like Python, NumPy, and PyTorch. These skills are highly sought after in roles such as AI engineer, machine learning engineer, data scientist, Python developer, and AI specialist. So I think that is a decent answer and I'm happy with its response. Now I can just go ahead and delete that document right here. And now the document is gone. So hopefully I was able to show you the potential of interacting with PDF documents and different kinds of files using these three tools. If you have used any of these before, please add a comment telling me which one you like the most. And that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you got some value from it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and YouTube channel and click like on this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.